It is the most significant discovery of early human relatives that we've never seen before in the fossil record. The discovery of a new species of human ancestor, Homo naledi, has just been announced. The fossils were found in Rising Star Cave in the Cradle of Humankind World Heritage Site, 50 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg, and the archaeological expeditions were led by Professor Lee Berger. Homo naledi was discovered in 2013 by a team here in the Rising Star System in a chamber that we've named the Dinaledi Chamber, or Chamber of Stars. It is the most significant and extensive discovery of early human relatives of fossils ever made on the continent of Africa. More than 1,550 remains, representing more than 15 individuals from infants to babies to toddlers to tweens, teenagers, young adults, adults, and, and elderly. The species is remarkable. It's got a tiny brain, uh, barely larger than an orange, with small teeth but that are primitive in shape. Staying across a relatively tall body, maybe a meter and a half tall, in the males at least, females about 1.4, 1.45 meters, skinny, with human-like arms but an ape-like thorax and chest with a very primitive pelvis. The hands are a mix between very, very advanced human-like hands, but the fingers are, are curved like very, very primitive ancient human ancestors. From mid-thigh down, it looks like a human. Long legs, human-like feet. Really a combination that we've never seen before in the fossil record. But the most striking discovery was what Homo naledi might have been doing in the cave. And we've come to the conclusion that this species of non-human hominid was deliberately disposing of its dead, taking the dangerous journey into this deep chamber to place its dead or drop its dead into a place inaccessible uh, by any other. Something that prior to this we thought was unique to humans and in fact maybe identified us. Now it doesn't. The fossils, which are as yet undated, will now be on public display. What I'm doing at the moment actually is preparing the fossil material to be moved out to Marapeng, to the museum there. Part of that is in preparation for the scientific announcement, and then the fossil material will actually stay out there for public viewing. What we're going to do is build a representational skeleton for everyone to see, and then we're going to sort of supplement that with some of the other bones that we have that are, are more complete. So it, I think it will look pretty amazing. As we take fossil material that we've excavated, we then scan it using different methods. One method is CT scanning, another method is uh, laser scanning. We then take the 3D files and we print them on our 3D printer. We're printing a skull and mandible, so an almost complete skull, just to give an idea of exactly what this, this animal may have looked like. Printing the skull takes quite a while. At the moment, to print the entire skull, we're looking at 38 hours of print time. The public can come face to face with the new discovery at the Marapeng Visitor Center at the Cradle of Humankind World Heritage Site.